Lee Shwin Singh, the choreographer and artistic director of the Queensland Ballet, has announced his retirement after a career as a world-class ballet dancer. The 2009 Australian film Mao's Last Dancer told of his phenomenal rise from extreme poverty in China to international performances. Newsday host Ashley Gillen spoke to Lee earlier this week. Firstly, congratulations on such a remarkable career. You directed Queensland Ballet for 11 years. It came after a stint at, at stockbroking, so they are pretty diverse careers. Tell us how the dancing world here in Australia has enriched your life. How has the company grown over that period? What have been the highlights for you? Yeah, it's been a wonderful 11 years. Uh, I uh, just loved every minute of it, uh, but it's been a total transformation from a regional company to now a global standard ballet company. We have a virtually doubled the number of dancers and we took the company from virtually around a $5 million annual budget to about $27 million during this time. But even just on infrastructure investment alone uh, of our brand new Tom Dixon Center, uh, you see the, uh, the uh, background information there, as well as our new academy building. Uh, we're talking about over well over $100 million investments during this time. So it's been phenomenal uh, growth 